sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Oh, any, any, anything good? You got anything for me? To, any new dialogue for me? Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got oh, a tiny man. little man with a mean temper and no commission. A well, nun is probably you know, a gold for mine for this. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, <laughs> darling. Manny, if you don't Seems mind, like I've got a lot do. of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. All right, so... Domino's office is open now, so we can talk to Domino. Oh, of course that's what he is looks like and is doing. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat this cell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail oh. Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Oh, man. Well done, Manny. Say, how'd you score? Should I be... Yeah, he seems like... Someone who would... I got two nuns, actually. Yeah. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. Seems like something he would say. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No, thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit, and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. <laughs> I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no. Not the Christmas party <laughs> all over again. I love that they keep referring to the Christmas party. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath. So I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. So Domino's a jerk. Sorta. He's a, he's a good salesman. That's some premium look. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Oh, burn! Yeah, I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some more. I could probably do that forever. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. <laughs> hey, get out of there, Calavera. No messages in Dom's fancy red tube. Oh, I thought I could maybe steal one of his messages. Hey, Dom! What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Alright, so nothing I can do in here, while he's here at least. And so let's see what's going on in my office. 
Anything new? Any new messages? Nothing. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. Can I do anything on the computer with the new guy? I should close Bruno's record before the black mark burn into my screen. Okay. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. So not really. Let me I gotta explore everything that's new now, you know. There's nothing I can do in here except talk to him, and I think I used up all hey, my her. dialogue. Yeah. Well you saw Yep. Okay. <laughs> I love that judgmental look of you really came in here to talk with nothing to say, you big jerk. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Anything else I can say to her? Manny, if Right. Nope. Right they watch you. Alright, let's check out the down Oh, there was that big festival. So I was saying, or he was saying, I wasn't saying, that um He's gotta go out and find some leads. Oh, here we go. You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Interesting. Well, why don't I just go check out the tube switcher? Oh, the music it's the is awesome. The sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. The music in the whole game has been awesome. This is like not really upbeat, up. crazy. Rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. So hypothetically, that wheel should open it. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Now hypothetically. I could switch Not picking that up my tube with Domino's tube. That red tube looks familiar. Not picking that up. That would be very smart. So if there's any way for me to open the door. Yeah, I can't. I we can't. Won't turn. But if I could... Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Let's just take that, shall we? That's not on fire. Can I use this somehow to open That's the door? Fire. Or I guess I'll just take it. Alright. It was kind of bottle-shaped. So maybe if I... Now he was saying... If you send beer bottles down the tube... Oh, here's... Oh, this is the room I was in before. For those who enjoy no-hassle travel, Bruno, you must have picked them up already. Um... I don't need the hernia. That when they sent beer bottles down the tube, it screwed up the machine. And this fire extinguisher is kind of bottle-shaped? Maybe a little big. Warning. Fire system, do not touch. But my con, my theory is that I can send something down the tube to break the machine to force him to open the door, and then one of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. And then switch the tubes or steal one of Manny's tubes. That's my idea. So. I'm obviously gonna have to use this on one of those things at some point. Ugh, that smell. I'm gonna have to use this on an item at some it's point. It's a lump of our packing foam. All right. Maybe I can. I'm gonna try to put the fire extinguisher in my in my room and see what happens. Okay, let's. Let's just select the fire extinguisher. That's not on fire. Wow. That's not on fire. Alright, that didn't work. That was an idea. 
I, but I think that's what I have to do. So I have to figure out some way to get into the message tube so that I can steal Manny's, cause, or Domino's, because Domino's tube is red. And this is definitely the reason I was supposed Your to come in here. In Dom's fancy red tube. To notice the red tube. So let me see what else I can do down there. Well, actually, he said beer bottles. Specifically, people threw beer bottles. I'm thinking, where can I get beer bottles? This seems like a place I can get beer bottles. Looks like some sort of crafty mine. <laughs> hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Alright, I've got myself a balloon animal of Looks Robert like Frost. Sort of mine. Not what I expected. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Alright, so at some point I'm supposed to get a balloon... One of those balloon animal choices. Ta-da! I wonder if I can keep all of them. I've got, um... This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. It's a squeaky little Alright, I'm just gonna get all of them. My God. But the that... Because why not? You know, if I can carry everything, why not get everything just in case I'm gonna need it? Ta-da! Alright, I got a dingo. And, uh... My God. A but dead worm. Heck! Nice, he didn't have to spin for There's that no one. limit on those. <laughs> Alright. Cool, I got balloons. Now, what else can I say to you? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, alright? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any... tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a <laughs> tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Nice! Bang! Ah, pop another one. <laughs> Lousy, <laughs> bony fingers! I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Alright, so I got myself a handful of balloon animals. I'm not sure what that's gonna be good for. But you never know in these games. You never, never know. Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? If there were a fire, I have a fire extinguisher, so that's fine. They're just full of party favors. And I'm not in the party mood. Okay, I've got myself a bunch of balloon animals. Oh, and then there was this... There was, like, a path over to another... Another ladder that I couldn't reach because it wasn't long enough. The ties weren't long enough. I'm gonna see if I can put these balloon animals in that, um... In that tube. See if that does anything. Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. <laughs> I've got balloons in my pocket now. Man. Right. I do watch you. I'm squeaking because I have balloons in my pocket. That's amazing. Oh, maybe I can put something in his tube. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe well. he doesn't trust me. Well, that's fair. Oh, that's a, probably another clue that I can't get it from his. I have to make it go to mine. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's see if I can put uh It's a deflated balloon. It's a deflated balloon. Let's see if I can put that in there. That's not what balloons are for. No, but that's, that's not what balloons are for. Manny. I know that, Manny. I know that. Another thought. If I take a deflated balloon, can I fill it with packing foam? I sure can. So now I've got a deflated balloon. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. And um, can I now fill it with this? I don't really want to do that. All right. I don't really want to do that. Well, let me see if I can throw this in there now. I'm just trying to throw everything I can throw in the chute into the chute. All right, with the chemical. Put it here. Yes, that worked. <laughs> Look out below. Nice. All right, let's get screwing with the tubes. That was, there was another really clever, subtle thing that happened, or not, not hinting wise, but fun wise. When I walked by the first time with the balloons, I squeaked. And what that says to me is one, it's reminding me I have the balloons, but also just like showing that this is evolving, which is kind of cool. All right, so this thing spewed out. There's that light balloons chemical now. all over in there. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. Oh, now if I get, do I have, do I have to need to get another one? If I put the dark chemical in there, I probably don't have the balloon anymore. If I put the dark chemical in there, now, it's gonna make foam all over that. I think that's what I gotta do. I think I gotta get the dark chemical and fill that thing up with foam and that's when they're gonna have to go in and fix it. All right. We got some dark foam now. Let us stick that down here and cause some foamy foaminess up in the control room. Doesn't sound good. 